Join me today as we take a look at the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini Combo. This has the AMS Lite and the Mini A1. So we're gonna take a look and open up this printer. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As I said, today we are gonna be opening up the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with the AMS Lite. So this combo ranges about, right about 389. Um, the printer itself is about 199. Um, but you, with this combo, you get the printer, you get the AMS light that you can switch between four different colors in one print job. So you get a lot of bells and whistles here in a very little compact machine. Now my use for this machine is a quick prototyper. Uh, before I set anything up to my 3X1 Carbons or the A1, which we'll be unboxing here in a video in a couple weeks, um, this one is going to stay in my office and be kind of my really quick prototyper design something, print it real quick, see if it works, if it does work, then I send them up in mass to the X1 Carbons. So we're gonna get this guy out of the box, we're gonna put it together, we're gonna take a look at it, and we're gonna see, is this worth the money, and how does it compare to other mini printers like the Ender 2 Pro and different machines like that. So without further ado, I'm gonna set this down, and I'm gonna get everything out of the box. All right guys, we've got it out of the box. Now we're gonna take a look at what came in the box. Now this was the AMS Mini, or the A1 Mini with AMS Lite. So what does that AMS Lite mean? That is a auto manual feeding system that will, the printer knows it has to switch between four different filament colors to feed into the printer. It'll, it'll peel back, put a new one in, clean itself, and then print with the new color and then switch back. Or I do with it is I have four of the same color and on my X1 Carbons, especially if one roll runs out, it'll just switch to the next roll of the same color and keep printing. So I never run out of filament unless I go through four spools, which I shouldn't go through four spools. So we've got the AMS light. We got the spool holder. We got the PTFE tubes that will go from the AMS light into the, the uh, um, extruder. We've got, so this is something I hadn't seen in the X1 Carbons. They sent the color swatch. So this is what they sent to tell you what all the colors are and types that are available from um, Bamboo Labs as their filaments. So there's mats, there's PLA mat, there's T, there's all kinds of just different colors they can print with. This is what they sent. They sent a beautiful toolkit. I wish actually they would have had some of these Allen wrenches and stuff in the X1 Carbon because these are just nice. They sent the clock component to make if you choose to make their little clock. Now the disappointing part, the part I did not like that they sent. Of all the filament, of all that they could have done and packed into this box, that's what they sent me for filament. That's maybe enough to print a Benchy. You send me an AMS for four roll, four spool support and you send me a bag of unspooled filament. Really? Come on. At least the X1 Carbon, I get three of these, even though they're only 250 millimeter, I at least get three of them to work with. Uh, to me, that diminishes the first printing experience. Um, now granted, the person of, of norm, anybody that buys this printer and does anything with it is probably gonna pick up a spool or two of filament, but seriously, why not the out of the box experience? Um, this is a good experience. Even though it's only about 250 grams of filament, it's still a good experience. This is, I can print maybe a Benchy to see if it works experience. And then why, why, why did I even buy this component? That doesn't make sense to me with the cost of this printer. So this is my only really boo that I've run across. So now I've got to kind of put stuff together. There are several screws and bolts to put together because now we've got the actual A1 Mini itself. And don't worry, I will give some close-ups close of it. But what we got to do is basically we got to follow the instruction book. So we've got to get it, the spool holder attached. We've got to unlock by unscrewing some bolts, um, the arm, we've got to do some, screw some bolts on, 
in the bed to actually secure the bed in place now that it's finished transit. And we got to put the cutter, um, the purge wiper. We've got to install it onto the printer. And basically, I'm going to time lapse that for you guys. It's actually really kind of quick. You don't want to sit here and watch me spend 10 minutes doing this. So we're just going to time lapse it because I also got to put some bolts onto the bottom of the AMS and then get the PTF uh, E-tubes all connected to the printer. Once that's done, then it'll be time to plug in a few wires and we will get this guy ready to rock. Now, binding it, loading it to my account, I'm probably going to skip that this video. If you're curious about that, go check out my X1 Carbon video. We do it over there. We follow every step. But then we, we will do is we will load this guy up, we'll do a print, and then I will talk about how I feel about the quality of it. So essentially, a lot of nice components. One thing I don't like, um, so far looking good. I love the teeniness of it. Now one of the things that did bother me is the power. It's built in. I can't remove the power cable. That to me is a little weird. Um, usually it's a separate cable that I would plug in and the cable itself is offshoot. Um, and I'll show you guys here real quick. This is the bracket that I have to remove. Then I have some bolts under the bed here I gotta tighten up. All in all though, it's a cute little baby printer. So I'm going to get through the final setup, make sure this is attached to get everything through and I'll join you guys once I have it powered up. All right, so I've got it all assembled. That looks like a pretty big machine to me, in all honesty. The AMS definitely expands the size, but it also gives a lot of quality features. Now, I haven't powered it on, so we're going to listen to it here and see what it sounds like. All right. Unleash your creality. Wait a minute. <laughs> um... Unleash your creativity, not your creality. Oh, no. All right. So we're going to hit start. English is the language we want. I am in North America. And we're going to select a Wi-Fi. I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to bind it to the app. I will say... This is a tiny little screen. You may want a uh, stylist. All right, connecting to the Wi-Fi. And now what I can do is take my cell phone and go to the Bamboo app. And I can go to devices, I can go to add, and I can scan the QR code that's here. And boom, it found it. I read and accept the terms and I confirm the bind. That is linking this printer to my phone's app, which is really cool because it'll bind it to my account, which on my computer when I'm using the slicer, I can send stuff to it from the internet without even having to get off my butt, which is kind of cool. All right, and we're gonna start the calibration. So this is gonna home everything in, make sure everything's right, make sure everything's good, and do my initial leveling and all that fun stuff. Make sure all my motors are working properly, everything's moving right. So we're going to let this run through its calibration and we'll be right back. Thank you. 
All right, guys, the calibration just finished on this little guy. We're ready to roll. Um, it does want me to lubricate some of the rails, um, so I will take care of that later. For now, though, we're gonna send it on its first job. And one of the things that always impressed me about Boom Bamboo Labs is there's always a camera, always a way to record a time lapse with these machines. Unlike the older machines where we had to go get Raspberry Pis, Noctoprint, all that fun stuff, these come pre-built with it in there. So I have loaded a 250 milligram spool of white into the AMS. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update the firmware. Here's how hard updating the firmware is on a printer. Update. The Bamboo Lab printers do it themselves. Kinda nice. So I'm gonna let that update then we'll cut to the time lapse of this guy taking care of his first print. And one thing I do want to show you guys too is the Bamboo Labs comes with the textured gold pie build plate. You can also get purchase from Bamboo Labs the smooth pie plates as well, which I like the smooth pie plates, especially if I'm doing certain projects. The texture is pretty cool because the print holds on better. These I tend to have to use glue with, but you can get both of these. I think these are like $20, $30 at Bamboo Labs website. They're worth having both of them. Um, right now, my X1 Carbons, I tend to run the smooths, but I'm building certain things that I need smooth prints. So uh, the textured one is also really nice. If you're having adhesion problems, a little bit of PVA glue also helps out with that solution. So let's get a Benchy printed and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of that. guys i've run a few test prints with the a1 we did this cool test whistle that comes with the a1 <whistles> works great simple clean print didn't have to use any glue on the textured bed any of that popped right off when it was done we also did the customary benchy which came out just fine so as far as a printer what i recommend if you're a beginner and wanting to do small stuff not a bad purchase price um few things I don't like about it, um, just it's just kind of picky, nitpicky stuff. The AMS really kind of makes it really bulky. I wish there was a way to mount, really kind of just mount it on top, um, which there may be prints to modify that and stuff like that. But I wish there was a, a kit that could have come with the machine to do it. Very small, very compact, and very quiet. I was very impressed by that, actually. Um, even the X1 Carbons are not that quiet, even with the new um, quiet motor, uh, uh, firmware updates. So very quiet, very good little machine. Um, I need to make a little pooper tray, which I've seen some files out there because it dumps the waste off to the side over here. Um, AMS, you don't have to have this, okay? You don't have to. You can run with just one piece of filament. So keep that in mind. You don't have to have this big honking AMS next to it. You can have this little bitty sleek machine. But for the stuff that I do, Four colors is kind of nice, or having multiple colors um, just kind of makes it kind of fun to work with and having multiple load. So having four of the same color, um, say I'm printing, I mean, if I were to print a solid plastic brick, I'd probably go through two, <laughs> two if I built brick the whole area into one solid piece. Uh, don't do that, that's a waste of material. Don't do that. But all in all, I like the machine. It was clean, it was simple. Um, build time, out of box, including the AMS, was about 25 minutes to get all this, the locking screws, lock the bed screws in, and then about maybe 15, 20 more minutes to go through the calibration. I did barely anything to calibrate this machine, and I started getting prints. So for a beginner starting machine at the price point that it's at, yeah, it's a good one to crack, to, uh, to break your teeth in on and get ready to start learning 3D printing. So there's a lot more to it than just this machine. So if you guys are curious about more information about like binding your printer to your account, different things like that, uh, using the bamboo, I haven't even shown the bamboo lab uh, slicer on the, on the channel yet. So if you do wanna see that, hit me down in the comments down below on ways to use that use that because you're not just limited to the Bamboo Labs machines in the Bamboo Slicer. The K1 uh, Max and my Neptune 3 Maxes are all available to slice through that slicer, which is pretty darn cool.
So thank you guys for joining us. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave your questions, comments down below. And all else fails, give us that thumbs up. It does help the channel out and helps me out. Let's me know I'm doing what you guys need to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.